Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Yakuza 0. In the last episode we did a bunch more sub-stories, we also had a run-in with the Leisure King, and in this episode you're probably wondering why I'm standing right in front of a karaoke bar. Well... Oh, <laughs> Mr. Preston! <laughs> hmm? What's the matter? Why are you so flustered? And someone <laughs> who works for the Ledger King came by. <laughs> His name was uh, Takashida, I think. <laughs> what happened? Did he try anything with you? Yeah. No, <laughs> he had a message for you. Uh, come to the karaoke bar. <laughs> a karaoke bar? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what do you think he wants? <laughs> I have no idea. But we've taken over a lot of his territory recently. He's not going to take that line down. Okay. I'm going to check it out. But it could be a trap. <laughs> they might resort to violence again. We'll see. If they want to duke it out, there's no reason to pick a fight at a kar karaoke bar. So don't worry. B but still, please be careful. The Leisure King's waiting at the karaoke bar. Time to go. So yes, the Leisure King has indeed sent a challenge to me and he has told us to meet at the karaoke bar, and all I have to say to him is, if he's expecting to beat me in a karaoke bout, he's gonna be sorely disappointed. This karaoke bar must be where the Leisure King wants to meet. Am I ready for this? Ho ho ho, I'm more than ready. All right, here goes. Oratachi no judgment. Woohoo! You're amazing, boss! Oh, Kiryu's here. <laughs> hey, Kiryu san. Long time no see. Why did you call me out here like this? <laughs> hey, come on, relax. I figured we could just hang out, have a good time, maybe play a little game. Mm. A game? Ah. Yeah. Just something the five billionaires do to pass the time. To keep things fresh, we each bet a part of our turf. Whoever wins gets a share of the loser's area. What do you think? Exciting, isn't it? That's crazy. You could take a big hit to your business if you lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes it fun. I made my money in pachinko, buddy. It takes more than a little risk to scare me. So you're the reason pachinko got so popular. You monster. So what's this game you're talking about? <laughs> it's this. Mm. Karaoke? Ah. Yeah, these karaoke machines are pretty high tech these days. This bad boy scores your singing on a scale of 1 to 100. We're gonna battle it out with this scoring system. Whoever racks up the more points wins. How's that? Mm. But, hey, hey, what, you chicken or something? Man, what a worse. Or maybe you're just tone deaf, huh? It'd be painful if I lost a part of my holdings, but if I won, I could grow my share. Maybe I'll take him on. Uh. Fine, I'll accept your challenge. I'm confident in my singing abilities. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right, I'll kick things off. The son is Judgment Shinpan. Heh, <laughs> I got 80 points. Not too bad, I guess. Okay, you're up next. And if you get the same in store as me, I'll still let you win. Uh. Got it. I'll show you how this song's supposed to sound. <laughs> Heh, I'm looking forward to it. Complete, compete to get a high score in laser karaoke. If you score 80 points or higher, you win and increase the share of, your, of the Leisure King area by 10%. Lose and your share decreases by 10%. Sing your heart out to increase your share of the area. Game, you know how I like my karaoke. I'm gonna win this. Easy. Let's do this. Okay. 
I want to do a shout out to my boy Nishi, thank you for having my back and coming in for this one song. Don't ever, ever challenge me to karaoke again. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> looks like I did okay. No way, how can a meathead like this sing with a great voice like that? As promised, I'll take a share of your area. <laughs> Damn it. You won the karaoke battle. Your share of the Leisure King area has increased by 10%. <laughs> Thank you very much, good sir. This isn't good, boss. He's already taken a lot of our turf, and now we have to give him even more. Uh -huh. uh, shut up. Don't you think I know that? Anyway, I've still got a backup plan. Why? Listen, Kiryu san, playtime is over. I'm going to bring my A-game from now on. What you took from me, I'll get it all back. I'll spare no expense. You've been warned. Let's see what you've got. Later, man. If we meet again, that day might be your last. If you want to avoid that, it's not too late. Get out while you can. Sounds like the Leisure King's getting serious. Things could be coming to a head soon. Well, looks like I showed him, but now we're free to do what we need to do. I'm actually going to go back to the office and get the money that I um, wanted to get from my payout, and then I'll meet you guys back at the next thing that I want to get sorted. Be back in a second. You know, my health is looking pretty low. Let's eat some sushi. Welcome. What, are, uh, what would you like it today? What can I get you? Um, you know we don't need to eat too much. Let's just uh, let's just get some tomato. You know, for you know, no specific reason. I don't need to hit, heal all of my health up at once. No siree. <laughs> Thank you for coming uh, today, so, um, was everything alright? Hmm? Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, you liked it? Uh, really? Are you sure? I told you it was good. Why won't you believe me? I'm uh, sorry. It's not that I don't trust you. Mm. I'm just not quite sure my sushi is up to par. Mm. You don't have confidence in your sushi? Ah. To be honest, I just took over this restaurant. I'm not sure if I have what it takes to do this. Yeah. Taking over an established restaurant at a young age proves you know what you're doing, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not quite like that. He used to belong to my father, but he passed away suddenly. I'm sorry. Mm. He left me this restaurant way before I finished my apprenticeship. He, could have, he couldn't have fit the worst time to do this to me. Yeah. You're being too hard on yourself. Your sushi's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you. And thanks for listening. Please come again. This could be the beginning of a friendship with the chef of Sushi Jin. Interacting with him will gradually fill the friendship gauge. You can check the status of this gauge at any time, blah blah blah, from the completion menu. I'll be sure to drop by. In fact, I'll be sure to drop by much sooner than you'd think I would. Um... Are you sure my sushi is good enough? Please be honest with me. Mm. You're doubting yourself again? Mm. Well, uh, yes. I wouldn't be coming here if it wasn't good. Why can't you accept the fact that you're good at this? Yeah. But I'm not. I only know the basics. There are many kinds of fish I've never even had a chance to prepare myself. 
If only I had the time and skill. I'd get out there with a rod and lure and get a fresh fish to work with. Mm. I go fishing every once in a while. Wouldn't say I'm particularly good at it, though. Hold on! You fish? Uh, really? Mm. I just do it once in a while for fun. Plus you get fresh fish you can't find in the markets. Mm. Are you okay? I do realize this is a bigger favor to ask, but... Do you think you could bring me some of the fish you catch? Nani. That's a strange thing to ask a customer. Mm. I know, but I really need this. I'll never become a respectable sushi chef without a lot of experience preparing and serving a variety of fish. Mm. Not only that, but I've never really worked with fish that's just been caught, so I could really use your help. Freshly caught fish is completely different than what you can find at the market. I think working with that would help me improve my skills faster. Mm. I can see where you're coming from. Please, whenever you can is fine. Please just bring me fish whenever's best for you. In return, once I prepare whatever you bring me, you can eat it for free. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Uh. Alright, I'll see if I can get something for you next time I go fishing. No guarantees though. Uh. I understand, that's perfectly fine. Thank you so much, uh... I don't know your name, I'm afraid. I'm Ginji, by the way. I'm Kiryu. No need to thank me just yet. You can now bring Ginji fish, and he'll make it into sushi for you. And this is the main reason I wanted to get the friendship gauge up so quickly, because we're going to go and do a new side activity. And if you watched my Final Fantasy XV Let's Play, it's one that you know I like to do a... Um, spend a lot of time in, and that's fishing, and I'm going the wrong way, the taxi is this way. So, let's head on over to the pier, and do some fishing. Alright, this should be a good area. I actually don't have any bait on me, so this might go a little bit... Not so great at first, but let's see how it goes. Select where to cast your line by moving the cursor with the left stick, press X to cast. When a fish bites, it will start pulling on the sinker. As soon as the red mark on the sinker enters the water, press the X button to pull. To find out about using bait in different kinds of fishing poles, see fishing info. Alright. Probably don't need to worry about that for now. Let's just go straight into fishing. I've done this plenty of times in other Yakuza games for various different reasons, including side quests. So, uh, let's go here. Hmm. This is actually very different. In Yakuza um, 5 and 4, you had like this um, meter on the right hand side to basically show how far you're casting and where the fish were like situated. In this game, it looks like you can see the shadows of the fish. Yeah, I think those are shadows of the fish in the water. Interesting. Um. Looks like I can't reel in, I can only just bring the um, bob straight back. Okay, let's give it another go. I may need to get some bait, but I'll give it my damnedest. Okay, I can actually see the... I can see the um, shadows in the water, just barely. Let's see if I can get something. Oh! Come on, take the bait! There we go! Oh god! Oh god, this is very different! Well, it's a fish! That's way different to the other Yakuza games, it's much simpler. But simple isn't always a bad thing. Let's see if we can hook one more before I start doing it off-screen. Uh, let's see, go here. There we go, there's some nice fish in the area. Take the bait. Take it. Take it, you fishy bastards. Take the bait. It's right there in front of you. It's right there. I mean, there isn't any bait, but you get what I mean. And the eyes hooked just for you. That's right. You want the bait. You want the non-existent bait. You want it. You want it! You 
You can have it! Earth circle, square, X! Holy crap, that's super huge. Or super big size. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I'm gonna do a bunch of fishing off screen, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I have done all of my fishing. If we look over here, I may have gone a little bit overboard. Yeah! But I had fun with it, so that is the main thing that counts. And also, I took the time to pay for the peerless rod, which took, uh, sorry, the peerless pole. Gotta get that alliteration in there. Uh, which actually cost me 30 million yen, but it was 30 million yen well spent. And I could probably sell off any fish that I have left over to make some of it back. Now, let's go show our catch of the day to the sushi man. Okay, so this should be the last fish I need to give him. Oh, uh, you brought me a fish. Terrific. What kind of fish is it? Let's give him a tuna. Uh. How about this one? Perfect. This will really help me. I'll prepare it the right away. Mm. How is it, Kiryu-san? Um... Kiryu-san? Uh. It's especially good today. Sorry, it was so good I was at a loss for words. Uh? You had me worried there for a second, but I'm happy to hear you liked it. You're making real progress, Genji. Your sushi's getting better every time I come. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the encouragement, but it's still nowhere near as good as my old man's sushi. Oi. I mean it, Genji. It's time you had some confidence in your own skills. Believe in yourself. You think so? Uh. You keep comparing your sushi to what your dad made. I can understand how you wish you were just as good as a master chef with decades of experience under his belt, but that comparison's not fair to you. If you let that comparison hurt your self-confidence, you're just holding yourself back. Uh. Let yourself walk your own path, and make sushi the way you want. My own sushi. My dad passed away, and the restaurant dropped into my lap. I didn't feel ready. Not a day passed without nagging thoughts that maybe it wasn't right for a greenhorn like me to be serving customers. I feel like what you said finally dispelled those worries. It's such a weight on my, off my shoulders. Good. I'll follow your advice and find my own path to create the best sushi I can make. Uh. Sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I can't wait to have you try it, Kiryu-san. Come back soon. <laughs> I will. Good to see the sushi guy is having some self-confidence. We'll be back to check up on him a little bit later, but for now... I want to do some entertainment. Considering we're taking a break from sub-stories, I figured it's time to go around, do some of the entertainment stuff, and hell, we've only been doing some UFO catcher stuff inside the Sega Arcade, but there's so much other stuff, like Outrun right here. And if for people who don't know, this is actually based on a real arcade game from the 1980s that Sega made, and unfortunately have not revisited um, since, except for a remake, I think, that was ported to Xbox Original. And I think Xbox 360 Arcade for a little bit of time. I'm not sure if it was ever on PSN. It probably was, but I don't remember seeing it. I know it got delisted from Xbox um, Live Arcade at some point. But anyway, let's play some Outrun. Outrun costs 100 yen per game. Do I want to play? Jesus, that's a steal. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll give it a go. And this starts one of my favorite animations in the entire game. It's so dynamic, and it doesn't need to be. So let's see, brake, accelerate, change gears, insert credit, accelerate. Okay, so you can um, either use the um, triggers or the buttons. Okay, steer, switch, um, switch, switch screens. Hmm, interesting. I wonder if that changes like the arcade borders or something. I don't know. All right, uh, God, I haven't, I've never played, um, Outrun 
Okay, yes, yeah, so I can make it widescreen. Oh my god, it's got scan lines? You can put that as an option? Okay, uh, let's do it like this. Select music by steering. Oh my god, this is just like the arcade. There was actually a, um, OutRun arcade machine, um, at the cinema where I went to watch, um... Um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Side of the Dimensions. I really wanted to play it, but I didn't actually have any change on me, so... I guess I'll have to make do with playing it here, but honest to god, that's not a bad choice. Anyway, uh, Splash yeah, Wave. Go! Okay. Like I said, I've never played this before, so I'm probably gonna be terrible. Oh god, right, so, I can switch gears. I don't know when you should switch gears. I think you should switch gears when it gets to... A certain point. Oh god, oh god, okay. Um... Let's go to low. Or the turning. Oh my god, it looks so good in HD as well. Um, oh wait, maybe you're supposed to... Oh wait, no, I think you have to, um... Cr oh crap, I think you have to, like, let go of the, um, gas if you want to switch gears. I think that's how it works. I know you got a time limit, which is in the upper left-hand corner, and you have to hit checkpoints in order to extend the time! Or maybe you have to break when you switch gears? I don't know, I don't know, I should have done some research! Okay, yeah, okay, that's- I think that's how you do it. It's like, um, the brake acts as, like, a clutch. Oh my god. I've never been one for driving. Um, so... It's all a little bit rusty to me. I never really enjoyed driving. I have so many friends that enjoy driving, but I've never really enjoyed driving that much, and it's game over. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And, as you can see, you can go down different paths, and different paths are harder depending on which path you go down, and you can get more points. Let's put my initials in. C, J, P. What does that stand for? You'll have to guess. <laughs> oh no. That was some really good driving there. You think so? Thanks. Your steering was amazing. I couldn't tear my eyes away. I picked up a few tips for my next run. Tips? So you play this game too? Yes, I've always loved racing games. No kidding. If you've been playing them a while, I guess you're pretty good, huh? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty fast if I do say so myself. Heh, <laughs> <laughs> you sound confident. I'm no, no slouch. I could give you a run for your money. I know. Next time I get a new high score, I'll tell you about it, okay? Sure. Let's see what you're made of. Alright. My name's Luca, by the way. What's yours? It's Kiryu. Kiryu-san. Got it. Okay, Kiryu-san. I guess I'll see you around. You got to know Luca. Interacting with her will gradually fill up the friendship gauge. Man, we're making so many friends! But, in order to raise her friendship, I think we have to play Outrun a few times, so I'm gonna have some fun. Give me a second. Oh, Kiryu-san. What's up? I finally got a new high score. That should be a challenge to beat. Nice work. What score did you get? Get this. I got a total of... 1.5 million. Whoa, that's a pretty good score. You weren't lying about being good at these games. Aww. Hey, you didn't believe me. Heh, <laughs> sorry. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, while you're here, how about a challenge? Challenge? Oh. If you beat my high score the next time you play, I'll give you a present. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Great! Are you ready for the challenge? Do I want to try this now? I'll take you on. Okay, I'll give it a shot. I know you can resist. Okay, let's see if you can beat my high score then. The scores you get when competing against Luca don't count towards your completion list or rankings. But I still get points towards entertaining myself. I'll never get tired of that.
There we go, not going to live actually took me a couple of times because my first attempt went completely off-road. Like, completely, it was kind of bad, and of course I finished right away from the checkpoint. Oh well, beggars can't be choosers. Wow, that's an amazing score. I do okay when I go all out. Mm. Can't believe you just blew past the score I worked so hard for. Well... I came out on top this time, but if you can keep at it, I think you can do even better. Mm. You really think so? Alright, I'll brush up on my racing skills and try to get a score you can't match. Uh. Yeah, let's go another round. Hey. You're on! Oh, oh uh, here's the present I promised you. Take it. You got an, an alertness hood. <laughs> we'll have a rematch then. I'll give it all I got. Uh. Sure. Let's see what you can do. It's always nice to have friendly competition in games. However, I want to check up how Jinji is doing at the Susi Jin. So, let's go pay him a visit, shall we? Should be right here. This is really good. Hmm? This is the best sushi I've ever had. <laughs> Glad you like it. I've been to many restaurants, but your sushi is truly exceptional. I've never had anything like it. You've put a refreshingly new twist on the cla- uh. Oh god, uh, sorry. Got some phlegm stuck on that one. You've got a refresh ref uh, refreshingly new twist on classic sushi. Well done. He's full of praise for Jinji's um, sushi. Jinji looked like he's overcome the doubts that were holding him back. So, what's your secret? How do you make sushi that feels traditional and novel at the same time? Hmm... Well, I'm just following advice from a very insightful person. You mean a sushi master? So, what's his advice? He told me to believe in myself. Right, Kiryu-san? Hey, don't drag me into this. Oh, are you by chance the sushi master he was talking about? Yeah. Eh? No, you've got the wrong idea. Oi. See what you've got me into, Jinji? <laughs> eh, oh well. It might be Ginji now that I think about it. But I like the name Jinji better. I think it sounds... I like the sound of it better. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But we're not done yet. Uh, Kiryu-san, sorry for bringing this up out of the blue, but do you work in real estate? Hmm? Yeah, I do. How do you know? I'm friends with the manager at Yurakaze, actually. He said business has been much better since you started managing the property for him. I was hoping that maybe you could do the same for me. Would you be interested? Sure, of course. Are you sure about this? Absolutely. It's getting harder and harder to do business here with all those tycoons buying out places and doing as they please in Kamarocho. You acquired Sushi Jin! And with that, our share has gone up to 84%. And I got the Seamaster, which is a rod that is not as good as my rod, but whatever. Be seeing you, Genji. I've got a high score that I need to beat. Oh, Kiryu-san! What's up? Great news! I got a new high score in the game. Yeah? How many points? I don't know how I pulled it off, but I got three million points! Nani. Three million? That's amazing! I was disappointed you won last time, so ever since then I've been practicing hard every day. <laughs> yeah, top players tend to be the type who really don't like to lose. <laughs> so what do you say, Kiryu-san? Think you can take me on? I'm pretty confident I've got you beat this time. If you can top my score, I'll do something really special for you. Something special? Mm. Let me see. Okay, if I lose, I'll give you the ride of your life. The ride of my life? Does she mean? Uh, what do you mean by that? Haha, <laughs> I'm not telling. But trust me, it'll be worth it. Between you and me, I've been dying just to do it by myself. I'm so into it. 
I bet you'd be amazing at it. I would. She's offering me a ride. And I'd be good at it. Oh. Mm. Is something wrong, Kiryu said? <laughs> oh god, Kiryu, I really hope you just didn't. Oh my god. Uh, no, nothing. Uh, I'm okay, relax. Oh, uh, okay. So what do you say? Want to try to beat my high score of 3 million points? This might be tough, but it will be worth it. Let's do this! Okay, I'll give it a shot. I know you can resist. Okay, let's see if you can beat my score then. I can do this. I promise you, Kiryu, as a man. I will get you that prize! Holy shit, I actually did do it. Holy cow! What an incredible score! He wiped the floor with me! <laughs> well, I did have to pull out all the stops. <sighs> I really don't think I can top that one. Don't be silly. If you keep practicing, I'm sure you'll get even better an, an even better score. The more you play a game, the better you get at it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of you to say. I'll keep doing my best. Oh, about that thing. Yeah? You sure you want to go through with this? Well, I can't do it right now. It'll take some preparation. Can I get you to come back later? Uh, sure. I guess you need to work up some courage. I get it. I'll be back later. Thanks. I'm so excited. I can hardly wait. Kiryu, are you sure this is the right thing we should do? I mean, she's a young, impressionable girl. We'll be doing something that we can't take back. Okay, so I sort of just went into Don Quixote just to sort of, you know, pass some time, so... Let's see if she's ready. I wonder if Luca is ready for me to ride her now. She is talking about riding her, right? What else could she mean by that? Damn it, Kiri, we need to be careful. It's gonna be the pizza incident all over again. Kiryu san, I'm ready for you. You are? Uh, um, don't worry, I'll. Huh? I spoke with the manager and got him to order one of these sweet rides I was talking about. It's the hot new motorcycle racing game, Super Hang On! I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna let it sit here for a second. It's okay, Kiryu. It's okay. What's the matter? Don't you like motorcycle racing? I love games like this. I thought you'd want to go for a ride. Oh, sorry. It just wasn't what I was expecting. It's fine. It seems like a... sweet ride. <laughs> oh, <laughs> great. I really pushed the manager for it, so I'd feel terrible if nobody wanted to play. Hop on or whenever you feel want. Uh, whenever you want. Yeah, I will. Super hang on, huh? Looks like fun. Hey, Luca-chan! 
Can you help me over here a sec? Sure thing. I'm coming right now. Well, have a good time then, Kiryu-san. I look forward to talking more about racing games sometime. <laughs> oh, he's so disappointed. I guess this is this is the only action I'll be getting tonight. <laughs> you can now play Super Hang On. To be fair, I think it's a pretty sweet deal. Well, folks, a lot has happened in this episode. And a lot of disappointment has been brought down. However, I don't think there's any better way to end off this episode but by playing a round of Super Hang On. So, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that jazz. And always remember to have the sweetest ride of your life. Let's make this count, Kiryu.